It's pretty safe to say that after trying Shopify dropshipping with TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook ads, only having made one sale, it is far from easy to be profitable dropshipping as a beginner. So that's why we're headed to Facebook Marketplace to dropship on there. And with a zero dollar advertisement cost, I'm looking to turn around my dropshipping career. So dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace is essentially a copy and paste form of dropshipping. What I mean by that is you're gonna go to retail suppliers like Walmart and Target and pick products on there and copy everything from the listing on Target and Walmart and put it up on Facebook Marketplace. It's absolutely genius. So unlike dropshipping on eBay, we're actually doing an illegal activity here because eBay's policy prevented dropshipping specifically from retail suppliers, whereas Facebook does not have anything about that in their policies. So Facebook only charges a 5% fee compared to eBay's like 10 to 12.5% fee, so there's going to be a lot more money in your pocket. So my plan is to make as many listings as possible and market the prices anywhere between $10 to $20. The products I'm going to be picking are home goods over $35 because only then do you get free shipping from the suppliers of Walmart in Target. Saturation level is very low right now because not many people know about it. It seems like the perfect cash cow scheme from the outside. Is it really though? Let's find out. It's now 10 p.m. and a little bit earlier, I found a bunch of products that I wanted to put out there. However, very quickly I realized I can't actually do this. So Facebook Marketplace only has shipping available for certain people that are eligible and they don't really give a whole lot of requirements for the eligibility. So my personal Facebook account does have shipping, but the problem is it has been permanently restricted from posting anything on Facebook Marketplace. I'm looking at other solutions and see what I can do. That's something to keep in mind for you and when you sell on Facebook Marketplace, do you have that shipping option enabled? And you can check that once you try to post the Listening. So I'm gonna work on that and then we'll see what happens. I got a big update for you guys. It's now Thursday, September 16th, and last night I went ahead and uploaded 35 items wow. to the Facebook Marketplace platform with the shipping option. And how I did this is I used my friend's Facebook account and I have some great news and I also have some bad news. So the good news is I received two orders, but the bad news is the account got restricted. And I'm currently requesting a review to actually be able to go ahead and buy and sell on Facebook Marketplace once again. I cannot even see those orders, so I can't fulfill them. And with the free shipping and no returns, my backside was covered. I think this is gonna be a great model to make some money. I'm not quite sure why Facebook thinks I violated their advertising community guidelines. I mean, everything I did was legal. Nothing that I did was against their terms. I think the only thing that probably prompted them is because I did 35, that was my mistake. Congratulations. You played yourself. I went a little ham. I was so excited to post all this stuff and I, I went a little crazy. I was doing this for two and a half hours looking for all these products and then throwing them up on Facebook Marketplace copy and pasting. What really surprised me was by the time I got to my last product that I was uploading, the very first listing that I had created already had about 80 views and there were some in there that were already doing numbers that were like 40 and 50 and I mean I know the conversion rate's not going to be the greatest because the price is pretty high and the account got taken down pretty fast so I, I think if the account wasn't taken down we'd be looking at a lot more orders right now. We'll see what happens. It's been in review for over 12 hours now. Hopefully I didn't screw up my friend's Facebook account. I'll show you guys the listings whenever I can get back in. I don't know what's going to happen to those customers' orders if I can't get back in. So yeah, I'll see you guys whenever I have an update regarding Facebook and the review on the account. Well guys, I have some great news. It's Wednesday, September 22nd, and I finally, finally got the account back in good standing, at least in the terms of the account not being under review anymore, and I can actually sell stuff. So I actually replied to one of Facebook's emails every 24 hours, just made me request a new review. After that 24 hours, they would send an email saying, you know, the account's still under review. So I replied to that email saying, what policy did I break? Everything, you know, should be fine. And after sending them a few emails, I got an email back saying they fixed it, but then they didn't. And I sent another one, and eventually I did get a Count back to where I could sell. So unfortunately, I did miss out on a few orders. My cancellation rate is at 100%, and that's currently haunting me because of that 100% cancellation rate. Facebook does not push my listings as much anymore. There are two orders I'm trying to recover right now. When I messenger and message these two people, one person said they're waiting to get paid, and then they'll go ahead and get an order. The other person said they were still interested in placing orders, so I went ahead and bought that item from Target. We should secure a nice little profit right there, get our first sale on Facebook Marketplace. So that's pretty exciting. Even know how these listings 
things were still out there when my account was banned, but somehow people were able to see it and order it. So I think I missed out on like four orders, which, and honestly, it would have been a lot more because when I listed those first 35 items, every single listing was getting views like crazy. And then now when I look at the analytics, only like one or two of them have gotten significant views since then. So now that my account's not under review anymore, I should be hopefully making a lot more sales unless the cancellation rate continues to affect me as it has just for the first few hours here of me actually being not under review. It felt really bad because this is my friend's account when I texted him like, can't buy or sell on Facebook Marketplace. He wasn't too happy. <laughs> Everything's all good now. I'll check in with you guys when I get an update. All right guys, it is Tuesday, September 28th. I got another order finally. Got a bunch of messages this past week, people asking for different dimensions, even though they're in the description. And I almost had a sale, but they were looking for something that was 50 inches tall. I had something that was 47 inches tall, they didn't like that. And I had something that was 57 inches tall, but they didn't like that one. It had to be 50, so I couldn't make a sale there. But we finally did secure a, another order, and it is for the same item. It's the bookshelf. This listing has over 2,000 views. However, every other listing that I have out there has no more than like 100 views. It's absolutely ridiculous what Facebook has done to my Facebook Marketplace account because of the cancellation rate and just because I was under review. I mean, I guess it's good that one listing is getting pushed, but if my account didn't go under review and I didn't have that cancellation rate, the orders would be absolutely popping off right now. I mean, with all these listings getting, you know, thousands of views, we'll be doing pretty good. We're in week three. I mean, we've only had like a solid weekly count actually not being under review. And I hope to get that cancellation rate down with each order we get. You know, obviously I went ahead and filled that order. It costs like a dollar more. Another person from California, I guess the taxes are different in the different counties. I'll go over the numbers tomorrow when I conclude this video. See you guys. I'll check in with you tomorrow. All right, guys, it is Wednesday, September 29th. I'm now going to go over the numbers of the two sales we actually did generate and my final thoughts on Facebook Marketplace dropship. All right, so we sold the exact same item as the Corner Cube bookshelf from Target. So the first time I got the order, the cost from Target was $64.35. The revenue from Facebook after their 5% fee was $71. So it leaves us with a profit of $6.65. Unfortunately, this item I marked up $15. If I did 20, I probably would have been closer to that $10 mark, which would have been nice. And then the second time, I sold it, which was yesterday. The total cost from Target was $65.25. And of course, the revenue after the Facebook fee is $71. And the profit is $5.75. So our total profit as of Wednesday, September 29th is $12.40. Now, I'm going to keep going with this Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. I think once I get that cancellation rate down and get some of these listings pushed again, and I'm going to continue to create new ones. I created a couple new ones the other day. They didn't really do that well. I just think without those two things being in play, I definitely think we could have done a fair amount of volume with this. This is like the absolute perfect business model, especially right now, because this Facebook Marketplace dropshipping is pretty new. Is this a viable side hustle in 2021? Absolutely. This might be the best form of dropshipping for me because there's zero dollar ad cost. It's very easy to do and you don't have to build a website. No risk involved besides being banned by Facebook, I guess. So if you guys did enjoy, if you did make sure you enjoy like the video, subscribe content, I'll catch you all in the next one.